welcome to my beautiful Halloween. We've fallen down the rabbit hole once again and found ourselves in Wonderland. This time as Alice. This is my rendition of Alice and my twist on the classic character from Alice in Wonderland. It's very whimsical with baby blues, shimmering highlights, and beautiful glosses. Now if you're ready, I think it's time to go entirely bonkers and transform into Alice. My name is Alice. I live in London. I have a mother named Helen and a sister named Margaret. I'm starting out this look by applying a soothing oil to my skin, working that in with my fingertips, and I'm also applying this down my neck. Here I'm applying a full coverage foundation, and I'm just blending that in with a flat foundation brush. I'm using a white concealer to pale out my skin tone and also add some coverage. I'm going to apply the white concealer to my chest so I can match my face to my body. With the dark brown brow pomade, I'm going to fill in my brows following their normal shape. I'm using a white cream foundation to clean up under the brows and carve them out. Then setting them with a clear brow gel. With a duochrome blue highlighter, I'm going to highlight the face for an icy glow. Also applying the highlight to the center of the chest and collarbones. I'm first using a bright blue eyeshadow to start out the eye look. With a pale lilac eyeshadow, I'm going to lighten up the bright blue to a baby blue. I'm going to blow out the color to the temples and onto the lower lash line. With a loose powder highlight, add more glow to the high points of the face. Here I'm spritzing my face with a dewy mist and then adding iridescent glitter under my eyes. Also adding some around the temples and cheekbones. I made sure to blend all of that into the eye look which will give a glistening wet look. I'm also adding gold glitter in that same area around the temples and cheekbones just using the dewy mist to adhere the glitter on. With a loose powder highlight, I'm going to brush over my brows for a golden glow. With a dewy mist, I'm going to dampen the brows and then apply iridescent glitter over top. I'm using a sparkly black shadow to lightly define the eyes, just blending that into the lower lash line very subtly to bring them out and make them look a bit larger. Line the waterline with a white eyeliner. Now apply a golden highlighter into the inner corners of the eyes. Here I'm applying some mascara and big dramatic false lashes. I also applied some false lashes to the lower lash line as well for a doll eye look. You can apply a bit more mascara to blend the false lashes in with your real ones. Using concealer and a damp sponge, I'm going to minimize the appearance of my lips by paling them out. I'm using a pink liquid lipstick to create a doll lip shape. Then topping off the lips with a baby pink glitter. For rosy cheeks, add pink blush to the tops of the cheeks. Using airbrush makeup, I'm going to pale out my body to match my face using a shade of airbrush foundation that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. 
Now I'm going to be placing some silver rhinestones under the lower lash line. I'll be adding black and silver flowers to my shoulders, chest, and down my left arm. And I'm just using a face and body adhesive to stick those on. With white liquid eyeliner, I'm creating some swirls around those flowers just to give a very whimsical effect. I'm going to add silver gems and a few more flowers, and I also went in with white body paint to add more swirls. With Dewy Mist, I'm going to spritz the chest, then apply a loose powder highlight over top. I'm also adding more of the loose powder highlight to my fingertips. Now it's time for the wig. I popped on a periwinkle wig with an Alice bow. I'm using some iridescent glitter gel to glitter up the fingertips for an intense magical shine, and I also added this gel into my hair too. I also popped on white fishnet gloves. For the final step of this look, I added clear eye gloss over the baby blue shadow for a wet, glossy lid. 